Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video first we're gonna talk about this guy right here, Urs Kalatinsky, and he is one of your favorites to win the Arnold Classic Classic Physique Division. So he has been playing that shadow game, you know, he's been like a Dorian Yates back in the day, during the 90s, but that made sense back then because there was no social media, if you wanted to post something you would have to do it like on magazines, which wasn't really that easy, especially if you live uh, in, in, in Birmingham, like, like Dorian used to. This guy, you know, he can post if he wants, but he doesn't want to do it. For some reason, he's doing that, and honestly, it works, at least for me. I'm just seeing his face right here, and I'm really curious what conditioning is he gonna bring, because his face looks scary. There is no subcutaneous fat right there. It's only skin, very thin layer of skin. Now, in some cases, some people, they rather easily lose, uh, lose the fat from the face and they have that face very early on, even though they're not shredded. And some people get freaking shredded, but their faces stay a little bit fluffy. So it doesn't really have to mean anything, but if you consider that he was pretty shredded, in a really good condition last year, but his face didn't look like this, then that probably means he's bringing a new level of conditioning. You can notice that my face also gets pretty lean when I get ready for the show. It gets scary, really, I, I feel like I'm scaring away little children, I mean, I, I don't want to look at myself in the mirror, because it doesn't look very nice, it looks horrible. And it feels even worse, like you cannot stand uh, on a flat surface for too long because your heels start to hurt because there is pretty much no fat left there. So it's, it's horrible, basically. You cannot sleep at all. Your body is thinking it needs to survive, it needs to hunt for deer or whatever, so it doesn't want to let you sleep. You need to go and, and find food. So it's bad, it's not good when your body fat is low like this. The, probably the worst part is not being able to sleep enough, so you never really feel good. By the way, let me do a little plug here. I want to mention this supplement that Old School Labs has in their offer. You can use my discount code even or my link down below in the description. Basically, if you have trouble sleeping, this is a great product, guys, honestly. Before you guys reach for uh, sleeping meds, try out this stuff. This is completely natural, it doesn't hurt you at all. It has a lot of great ingredients. I tried before just using valerian root or just mel melatonin. And it works, but this combination of all this stuff right here, as you can see, just works so well if you guys can't sleep because you're prepping or for whatever reason, or you just want to increase your sleep quality, go ahead, give it a try. I promise you, it works really well. Though, if you are like a sub 3% body fat, like Urs here probably is, you know, he's probably gonna have to go with something heavier, like lorazepam or something like that, if he wants to have a full night of sleep. Anyways, I know he feels like crap right now, he cannot feel good, and uh, the worse you feel, the better you look, so he might end up winning this show, because it looks like he's gonna be completely diced. And that's gonna be a dangerous package, that even though I don't think he has the best physique, if you talk about muscularity, it looks like he's gonna bring the best conditioning. Now, is that crazy level of body fat percent gonna be enough to beat guys like Terence Ruffin? I don't know, but that was the game that he could play. He could not build enough muscle to be bigger than Terence in only a couple of months after the Mr. Olympia, but he can come sharper than him and maybe edge him out that way, we'll see. Alright, we have a new update of William Bonek, also a couple of days out of Arnold Classic, and based on this based on this photo, I think it's pretty much safe to say that, yeah, he's probably not gonna be like uh, top 2, top 3, no, no. I think he's gonna be probably like 5th, 6th, something like that, we'll see. So, I, I feel like Brandon, Brett, Steve Kuklo, probably a couple of other guys as well, can beat him and probably will, because take a look at him right here. I mean, sure, he looks great for a bodybuilder, but for the old Bonek, you know, that's not it. That's not what it once was. He's definitely suffering the consequences of father time. Age simply catches up with everybody. You cannot run away from it. It's gonna happen to everybody, to me, to you, to everybody. So it feels like he's catching up with Bonek. Now, he might be thinking, maybe I was a little off. Maybe it was because I wasn't able to train for the last two weeks. Maybe because it was all the trouble with traveling. Maybe that was the reason I wasn't at my best. Maybe now, if everything clicks, and if everything goes my way, 
I can be better, much better, better than Brandon Curry, win the Arnold Classic. That's something he might be considering, but based on the photos, I don't think that's gonna happen. I don't think it was just him being off. I think he lost too much muscle, especially in the legs. He lost that pop, you know, that he that he once had. Maybe he's using less drugs. Maybe he was trained up like a maniac before and he his health is not the best, so he can't do that anymore. I don't know. I can only guess. But for whatever reason, he doesn't look as good as he once did, so I don't think he can be in the top two, top three. He's probably gonna be like out of top five. What about Regan Grimes? Can Regan Grimes beat William Bonek? I would just go ahead and say no. I don't think so. Now, I hope this is gonna be Regan's breakthrough year. It feels like it's not gonna be it. No, no, I don't, I don't see that happening. It feels like he's gonna be the same version of himself from before. I don't know, I might be mistaken, but based on these photos, I mean, look at him here. Nothing special, nothing, nothing drastic, right? I mean, yeah, he looks great. He always looked great. He has great aesthetics, small waist, prominent abs, which is not common among these um, heavy bodybuilders. And he is big. He's 265 right now. But, you know, his height is about the same as Steve Kuklo. I think they are about, about 6 feet tall. So, for that height, they need to be about 290, 280 on stage if they want to be bigger than, like, Brandon Curry. So, he's a little bit um, lighter than he should be in order to, like, be victorious at this show. As you can see down below, the comment from Ian Valier is that he made big improvements in muscularity. I don't know if he's being sarcastic or is he honest because I don't see it. I don't see any big improvements. Maybe he added a little. I mean, how much could he add in such a short time span? He competed after Mr. Olympia as well, until recently, basically. So I don't think he could have added a lot, maybe like tops five pounds. But and that even that would be amazing if he did. Though I don't see any drastic change. Uh, is his conditioning going to be superb? I don't know. I mean, he will be in shape for sure. But is he going to be like super crispy? Uh, I don't think so. Because I mean, sure, right now, okay, he's flat. He's zero carbs. When he carbs up, he's going to be much fuller and harder and everything like that. But as you can see, like, take a look at his face. Uh, does he have, you know, that, that <laughs> chiseled face and, and jawline like, for example, Lourdes? Not even close. And okay, Regan is one of those guys that, you know, always has chubby cheeks. But still, I mean, he, his face looks bloated, basically. So, and, and also, like, look at the, the, the inner ties. Those veins right there should be more prominent if his uh, conditioning was really low. As you can see, it's covered with a layer of fat. So, no, he is not really that conditioned, nor did he gain a lot of size. I'm a big fan of Milos Archer. He's here from Serbia. I know him personally as well. I think he's a great coach. And I think he has done as much as he could with Regan. The thing is, a lot of people are expecting a miracle from, from, from Regan. Are expecting that he's gonna reach his full potential this year. But that doesn't happen overnight or over a couple of months. And it's not gonna happen this year. I don't see it. If you guys think otherwise, tell me in the comment section down below. This is what a serious contender looks like. Uh, this is what big change looks like. He's incredibly, incredibly massive right now. And he wasn't. He wasn't this massive last year, less than a year ago. He was not nearly as massive two years ago or three years ago. It wasn't even similar. It was a completely different human being. So this is when I when I say a big change. This is the amount of muscle that Riga needs to bring if he really wants to fulfill his maximum potential, as Brett is doing right now. So Brett, with this package, might end up winning the freaking show. I can see that. Some people think it's disrespectful towards Brandon Curry, the Mr. Olympia winner and two times runner-up, to say that uh, a rookie, basically, like Brad Wilkin, can beat him. But I honestly believe that. Yeah, the track record and the history, it all shows that Brandon is the favorite to win it. I know. But looking at their photos, I wouldn't be too surprised if Brandon ended up in second. It's not likely to happen. If you consider everything, particularly track record... I know all that, but if you just consider the photos, take a look at this one, for example, the most recent update. Yes, he looks great. His legs do look bigger. 
but is this really unbeatable by Brad Wilkin? I honestly don't think so. I might be completely wrong, I know the chances are that I am, but based on what I'm seeing, I don't think so. I think it's gonna be an amazing battle for that first spot. Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be the top two, but who's gonna win? I'm not sure, not at this point. Yes, Brandon looks great, improved even, but Brad, Brad looks like a monster, honestly, right now. So, in a couple of days, you guys will find out right here on my channel, so make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned, because I will be the first to show you the results and the analysis of the show. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching my channel. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and for more stuff, again, subscribe. All the best, guys. Bye-bye.